Well, it's been nearly three weeks since the big announcement. Obviously been very hectic, lots of things to attend to. And on top of all of that, I now find myself in sunny California. Essentially, I am here to clear out my desk. In fact, you can see the Wheeler Dealers Workshop behind me. I notice there's a nice new lick of paint. And really, I'm just waiting to see if they're gonna let me in to get at my personal effects. So while we're waiting, sounds like a good chance to actually have a chat with you guys and answer some questions. But before I really go there, I must thank the tens of thousands of you who've actually written in with your letters of support and good wishes, but also some suggestions. And most of these suggestions do seem to revolve around me coming to your house to fix up your personal car project. Obviously I will consider this, but do bear in mind that my rates are now gonna be considerably more than what I was charging Mike. Anyway, loads of you have written in with your questions and by far the most common one has got to be what's next? What project have I left Wheeler Dealers for? Well, the truth is, I don't actually know. I didn't leave Wheeler Dealers for that reason. I left because it seemed like the right thing to do and the timing was right. So it seems I may be available for things like weddings, bar mitzvahs and funerals. Or perhaps not. Anyway, back to the questions. My good mate Vince Phelps has very kindly collated the most common questions so I can actually go through and hopefully answer as many as we possibly can. So the first one is down here and it is from Catherine Phelps. Okay, Vince, very clever. Let's see what you've done there. Very wise man, put his missus first. Now, she says, Series 11 promo showed a time machine. If I had one today, what decade would I go back or forward to and why? Well, the answer has got to be the middle of the 15th century. So I could go meet Da Vinci himself in person, have a really good chinwag about all the things he's about to invent and maybe give him a few top tips, obviously. But then I'd like to go every hundred years or so after that so we could see how we were getting on, see how it all worked out for real, not just the way the history guys wrote it, but then also see how we get on every hundred years or so from there. So it'd be really rather interesting. Good question. An interesting question from Greg Hawes. You and Colin Furs should get together and make something. Like a show. Can't believe it hasn't happened yet. Well, actually, Colin and I did race together many moons ago for Guinness World Records. I was racing in a street legal bathroom, and he was racing in some kind of powered mobility scooter. He actually won the race, but did crash into all the cones and the press at the time. I was much more sedate. I came a very healthy second, but I was wearing a dressing gown and making bubbles at the time. So it would be great to do something with Colin in the future. Colin, how about it? Here's quite a long question from Roy Zwamick, I think it is. How about a barn find or abandoned project restoration series done with the home mechanic and budget in mind, with a couple of different cars being covered at the same time? Loads of them out there. Would love to see Land Rovers, Minis, VWs, etc. covered in depth with Ed's top tips to see how things pan out. Well, the thing is, the whole point of barn finds is they're not that easy to find, and I would imagine that almost all of them have already been finds. So it would be quite a tricky show, but also, nowadays, because of the way the classic car market has gone, they're all going to be quite expensive, so I don't know how well you would do them on a budget. As regards to all the cars, we've done quite a few of them, and I would like to carry on going through all those classic marks, because unbelievably, even having done 135 cars on the show so far, there are thousands out there that I would love to attend to. So again, maybe once I've worked out exactly what I'm going to do, you'll get exactly what you want. A question from James Byrne. With the current rise of independent video makers on platforms like YouTube, for example, and the slow death of traditional television, do you think there's a direction I'll be considering? Well, yes, you're watching this on YouTube. YouTube is actually a fantastic way to experiment and do all kinds of different formats. This is one of them, Ask Ed. Obviously, I'm gonna just keep answering questions that you guys are asking, that's great. I'm also planning to have all kinds of other playlists on our YouTube channel, and the idea with that is I get to have a little play around. I might even dabble into cookery and gardening. I'm probably not. Well, maybe, I don't know, we'll talk about that. But basically, anything you guys wanna see, I'll have a go at, but particularly, we're gonna get down to the fiddly bits and doing some detail work on some fixes and maybe even breaking stuff spectacularly. We'll see what happens. I've got a short question from Ross Williams. Instead of doing one car per show, what are the chances of doing one car per series? Well, actually, another question I've answered earlier on was about Mark Evans. And of course, that's exactly what he used to do back in the good old days, if you like. And I think it was a great way to really get down into the detail. So I'll definitely have a look at that. I've got loads of ideas for shows we could do that aren't necessarily just classic cars either. So let's have a little look, see what happens. And again, I'll get you guys to say yay or nay. And then, uh, well, Hopefully that will be our future. Finally, as it's Easter, I'm gonna leave you with this wonderful picture from Claire Brownlee, who sent me her son's excellent Easter egg design. Hmm, egg china, nice. See you later.